We are all going to die, no matter how much you deny. It's a fact, not a lie. Death is near, do you have any fear? People talk about it all the time, but do you even hear? What happens when the reminders go through your ear? Death is a destroyer of all pleasures. It takes away the value of all your materialistic things and treasures. We know that this life is just a test. That's why our behavior should be at its very best. We need to seek knowledge and get closer to our Lord. Many people grow up practicing Islam, but then they get bored. They turn their heads without any heed. They feel no remorse when they commit a bad deed. They don't care about the people in need. They don't care about the rest of the Muslims who constantly plead. These are not the Muslims that our Ummah need. These people are misguided and lost. They say they want Jannah, but in the end it will be their loss. This dunya is just a bridge that we need to cross. Jannah has a price. It is called sacrifice. Soon we will have so much regret because this world, the life, everyone will forget. I pray to Allah that we are not led astray because I am sure all of us want to be shaded on the Day of Judgment. We need to realize what is right in front of our eyes. The dunya is full with deceived and lies. The angel of death can take your life anywhere. And you can't tell me that's not fair, but that's just how life is. You die from anything, including rare diseases. The point is, Allah can take your life whenever He wills. It doesn't matter how much money you have, you won't need those dollar bills. All you're taking to your grave are your actions and your deeds. Do you think Allah will be pleased? Do you think your good deeds will be heavy on the scale? Everybody will be judged, male and female. Will you pass or will you fail? Every time you follow a desire, you are getting closer to the fire. Unless you repent to Allah who does not get tired from forgiving you. So don't prefer dunya over deen. Do you think your sins aren't being seen? Allah is always watching and the angels are always writing. Just remember that next time you're fighting or backbiting, don't chase after this world because it is only temporary. Aren't you scared of hell? Don't you think that it is scary? But you won't be that scared to depart if Allah is in your heart. And only Allah knows what's inside. He sees what you reveal and knows what you hide. So fear the day that the earth will collide. And pray to Allah that in Jahannam you won't abide. Allah is always by your side, so put away your pride. All of us make mistakes, but if you repent sincerely, inshallah, Allah will let it slide. So make sure that Allah is the one that you obey, for this life is not meant for fun or play. One of the best times to worship Allah is at night, when there is no one else in sight, when it is only you and the one who made you, you and the one that never betrayed, betrayed you. Turn back to your Creator and don't say that you'll worship Him later. You don't know when you will go. No one is promised tomorrow. Save yourselves the sorrow. Think about the time that you will be buried six feet under the ground, when your heart will start to pound, when you will be startled by the slightest sound, when your thoughts will be going round and round, when you will be questioned about everything that you used to do. Will they benefit you when that hollow grave swallows you? That's why we need to have righteous friends because they will be with you even after your life ends. Once you're in the ground, there will be no second chance, no redo. Once your soul is taken, you will be forsaken. So forget your law, because in the grave you will be solo. Maybe right now your iman is low. You can change that ticket slow. Now I am not guaranteeing you have a lot of time. Listen carefully to my rhymes. You never know when you will leave, but dying won't be a problem if you surely believe. But you shouldn't worry as much about death as you should the state in which you will die. Because no one can save you from your grave. But what will happen when you are inside? For we are only made of clay and on that day many people will cry tears that will dry. Think about the day when you will be resurrected and you will rise and you will see all these people and realize we are smaller than flies. And the scary thing is only the true believers will attain the ultimate prize. Whoever does an atom's way of good will see it. But if you want to keep doing bad then so be it. But you'll have no one to blame. This life is not a game. You act like you can handle Jahannam, yet you can't even bear a single flame. You'll have so much shame, but you've got what you wanted. That dunya fame, was it worth it? Remember to lower your gaze for better days. Remember to increase your sujood. It will lighten your mood. And don't be rude, especially to your parents who made you who you are. They are more special than any gold, silver or a million dinars. 
and also for them death is not far. So serve them with every, every day and be careful how you speak to them. Watch what you say and make sure you pray for them because one day they won't be there. You will see their empty chair. So help your family to prepare. When you turn to the Quran, you can't go wrong. Also try to increase your fasting. The rewards will be everlasting. Remember Allah, remember Salah, remember the Sunnah, remember the Ummah. Remember your grave, remember that you are only a slave. Remember your deen, remember to stay clean. I want you to really think about everything that I have just said because soon you will be on your deathbed. Take some time to prepare for the dead. And I am not trying to freak you out, I'm just trying to be real. Imagine if the next thing you ate was your last meal. Allah is most forgiving, so change your life now while you are still living. Make sure your intentions are sincere, the end is near and the goal is clear. Remember death and stay steadfast because you, you don't know which breath will be your last. May Allah give me and all of us the ability to act upon what I have said.